Okay, in this video, I'll show you guys how to use the Fourier series and also the Parseval theorem to find the sum as n goes from 1 to infinity of 1 over n to the fourth power. But because Black Pen Repair has a video on the Fourier series already, be sure you guys go check that out. I will have the link in the description for your convenience. And now let me just put down the formula right here for you guys. And now we also need to have the Parseval theorem, so let me put that down right here as well. And this says, if you get the things from here, we can actually have a really nice relationship between the following, you will see. First, we need to have 1 over pi times the integral from negative pi to pi. And this right here, inside, we don't just integrate f of x, but rather we have to integrate f of x squared and dx, like this. And then, this is actually equal to the following. We take 2 times a0 squared, and we add this with the sum as n goes from 1 to infinity. And here we have a n square plus b n square like this. And this is going to be so cool. As long as we pick a good function to work with, we can actually get a really nice sum. You will see. And the function that we'll be using is x square. So let me just write this down right here for you guys. Let f of x equal to x square. And then we just have to work out this, this, and that. And then throwing everything here. And then see what happens, right? Okay, so let's do a0 first, or well, a0, however you want to pronounce it. Anyway, a0, this is equal to 1 over 2 pi times the integral from negative pi to pi, and we just have to integrate x squared for the a0, or well, a0 right here. You only square it if you want to put in the passive valve to 0, right? So this is all we have to integrate, and now let's do this in our head. First of all, we have the 1 over 2 pi all the way in the front. And then when we integrate x to the second power, we get x to the third power divided by 3. Plug in pi, plug in negative pi, and we subtract. We will end up with 2 pi to the third power over 3, like this. And then we can cancel things out a little bit. This, this, and this, and that. So we get pi to the second power on the top over 3 for a0. And then we continue. Let's do a n. Why not? Okay, this is the one that we actually have to do the most amount of work. This right here is 1 over pi, so let's put that down. Integral from negative pi to pi, and then we have to do x squared times cosine of an x. And yes, we'll be doing a lot of integrations. But this one is actually not that bad because we can just do this by the integration by parts. The di method, of course. So, let me just put this down. Hmm. Let's say right here, real quick, okay? So I will have to integrate by parts. So of course the DI method right here will help us out. So let's see what will happen. All right, differentiating x squared and then integrating cosine of an x. And let's do this real quick. Differentiating x squared, we get 2x and then 2 and then 0. And then integrating cosine of an x. First, we get positive sine an x, but be sure you use the Lu chain namely the reverse chain loop, right? You divide it by the derivative of nx, which is n, so you put down 1 over n here. And then you do this again. Integral of sine is negative cosine. And the input stays the same, but you divide it by n again, and then you get 1 over n squared, like this. And then you do this again, which is going to give us negative 1 over n cubed sine of nx, like this. This is very nice. And now, of course, this times this, this times this, this times this. We have the answers already, thanks to the zero in the D column. Okay, so let's see what we get from here. Well, all the way in the front, we have 1 over pi. So let's just put that down right here. And then we will put down a parenthesis for the result of the integration. I will put down this times that, which is x squared times that, which is just x squared over n times sine of nx. And then this times that is positive 2x over n squared, and we have cosine of an x right here. And then lastly, we have this times that, which is negative 2 over n cubed, and then we have sine of an x like this. And of course, we will actually have to plug in, plug in, right? We have negative pi to pi. And in fact, this is not that bad at all. Because when we plug in pi here and also pi here, sine of n pi was sine of negative n pi. They are just zero anyway, right? So when we do this and that into here and here, they are just always going to be zero. The only thing we have to look at is the following. First, let me write down 1 over pi all the way in the front again. 
And then I will just have to put in pi in here. So we have 2 pi over n squared times cosine of n pi. And then minus negative 2 pi. So altogether 2 minus negative 2 is 4, right? And then cosine of pi n and cosine of negative pi is the same. So altogether we will end up in green, we have 4 pi over n squared cosine of n pi like this. And of course, we can simplify this a little bit. Cancel out the pi. Like, why not? And here we will just have 4. And if you would like, this might be bothering you, but it's okay. Because this right here is actually just negative 1 to the nth power over n squared. And in our a n situation, n start with 1, because this right here says so. So when n is 1, we'll see that cosine of 1 pi is negative 1. And then cosine of 2 pi is positive 1. So negative 1 to the nth power is the same as cosine of n pi. So this right here is for a n. So that's very nice. Now, we actually have to work out b n, but it's really easy. Okay, so I will erase this right here. And now for b n, of course, it's just 1 over pi times the integral from negative pi to pi. And then, of course, the function is, again, x squared. But this time, we multiply this by sine of an x. And this right here is actually really nice because it's equal to 0. And the reason is because x squared is even, sine is odd. Even times odd, it's an odd function. And when we are integrating from negative pi to pi over odd function, well, we get 0. Earlier, yes, I know this is an even function. You, I can have say this is twice the integral from 0 to pi, but it doesn't really matter. The integration wasn't so bad. But anyway, now we have a0, an, and bn. Now we can just put everything that we know right here, and we'll see what happens, right? So thanks to Passabelle, let me just write this down again. We have the following. First, the left-hand side, we have 1 over pi. This time, we are going to multiply by the integral from negative pi to pi. But we have to make sure we square our function, which is x squared squared dx, like this. And then, on the right-hand side, we have to have 2 times a0 squared, which we have pi squared over 3. We have to put this right here inside, and then we have to square that. And then we are going to add the sum as n goes from 1 to infinity. Well, a n squared, which is this right here, squared. So we have 4 times negative 1 to the nth power over n squared right here. Ah, you see. This guy, squared. And then we are going to add b n squared. Of course, that's just 0 squared. So that's very nice. So we have 0 squared like this. Okay, so now it's just a crazy thing up. Hmm, here we have 1 over pi, and we have to integrate from negative pi to pi, and this is of course x to the fourth power dx. And we'll just do that in our head in a second. This right here, let's see, this is pi to the fourth power, and then we'll have multiplied by 2. So we'll have 2 pi to the fourth power over 3 squared, which is 9, like this. And on the right hand side here, we only have a sum of n goes from 1 to infinity, 4 squared is 16, and then negative 1 to the nth power, and if you square that, everybody will become positive. So just 16 times 1 over n squared squared, which is n to the fourth power, like this. 0 squared, this right here needs no introduction, it's just 0. So now this is what we have. Can we integrate this? Of course we can. Let's see, let's do everything in our head. When we integrate this, we have x to the fifth power over 5. Plug in pi, plug in negative pi, and then subtract. So altogether, you have 2 pi to the fifth power, right? So here, let me write down 1 over pi. And then here we have 2 pi to the fifth power over 5, like this. And of course, we can simplify this a little bit. This and that will be out. And we have just 2 pi to the fourth power over 5, like this. And this is equal to 2 pi to the fourth power over 9 plus. And here we have the sum as n goes from 1 to infinity, 16 over n to the fourth power. And you see, this is where we give the n to the fourth power in the denominator. Mm -hmm. But anyway, I can factor out the 16 to the front. So it's just a constant multiple. Put a 16 all the way in the front like this, and then we, not all the way, but like in the front of the summation. n goes from 1 to infinity, and then we have the 1 over n to the fourth power. This is the one that we want, 
isn't it? Okay, let's see if we can do a lot of math in our head or not. This is 2 pi to the 4th power over 5. This is 2 pi to the 4th power over 9. So of course, let's just get our usual common denominator. Let's multiply this by 9, 9, multiply this by 5, and 5. So this is 18, right? And then this is 10. So if you just multiply, I mean, if you just subtract that on both sides, we will end up with, let's put this down right here, 8 pi to the 4th power over 45, yeah? And then this is equal to 16 times the sum as n goes from 1 to infinity of 1 over n to the 4th power, like that. Of course, divide 16 on both sides, and of course, when you divide it by 16, you can cancel, cancel, so it's 1 over 2. So, ladies and gentlemen, let me just write this down right here for you guys. The sum as n goes from 1 to infinity of 1 over n to the 4th power, this right here is nicely equal to pi to the 4th power on the top over 90, because 45 times 2 is 90. Anyway, this right here is it. So cool, isn't it? Of course, this right here, unfortunately, is not right. But we do get the pi to the 4th power right here correctly, okay? So this is how Pikachu will do the sum as n goes from 1 to infinity of 1 over n to the 4th power. Okay, so this is it. Hopefully you guys all like this video, and if you guys would like to see more Pikachu, be sure to give this video a like, and thank you guys so much. And as always, that's it!